I was searching for new ways to expand career and technical education here at Snowflake High School um, to kind of bring in the community and to have the kids have a, an experience where they have to actually go out and meet businessmen. Well, one of the people that we met was Mr. Terry Frawley, who, was, who is the Corporate Social Outreach Manager for Cellular One. This new outreach program called Live Connected Kids, where they have a series of training modules that they put out there, and different schools across northern Arizona, northeastern Arizona, can subscribe to and go through a, a I think there are nine modules that they'll do. To, um, to actually to receive a certificate and to learn how to interview and how to, to, do, to uh, develop leadership skills. Well, I have found not only is the program that we're working on with Cell One a great benefit, but my kids have just jumped on board with that. I think they're learning skills, how to, how to work with professionals, how to work with the community. They're de developing leadership skills that it's gonna take them a lot further than Snowflake High School. Um, I'm Gabby Lopez. Uh, I was an anchor and I started off the modules that we were doing, so I kind of started off the whole thing. The whole Live Connected Kids is helping uh, children from the reservation um, go out and get an education and help them get a start and how to do things. Uh, we taught them how to be a reporter, how to do a video, and then if they want to do anything else, they'll have modules that show them how to get a start on everything. So it's really good for everyone too. When I heard that Cellular One was going to come and do a project with us, it was really exciting because we get to work with professionals that know what they're doing. Um, I was really nervous. I was kind of scared. Didn't really know what to expect. The working with the guys from Cell One, I like that they're all organized, and I like that they have everything mapped out that they're going to do. They actually seemed like a really cool crew and cast, and so it brought my nerves down. And I wasn't really as nervous as I first was. They actually had me working on teleprompter before I anchored, and so I'd never done that, but. The professionals that already knew what they were doing, they kind of helped me out a little bit and I picked it up really fast. They've taught us how to talk in front of the camera, they taught us how to read a teleprompter, how to be able to do a script, um, lots of other things like just being able to give your word out and not be scared or nervous of anything that's happening. The skills that I've learned through this whole project, uh, better to be an anchor, you know, I'm trying to get better at it and getting better at reading a screen and a teleprompter than just having to write it on my own. And, and that's kind of experience that you're not going to get anywhere else. It's usually not offered for high school students, so it was really exciting that we were going to get that opportunity. Um, I can see this project helping me just get experience with working with others because I'm going to be not a broadcaster but a nurse and it just helps me interact with people who I usually wouldn't interact with and gives me um, good team and work ethic. It will help other kids by the way they learn things. They can see, it, oh, it's something fun. It's something that worth doing. It's kind of how they say it's fun, like capital F U N, fun. It's what I love. So if it's something you love, you should deal with it. So something that I've learned and uh, to be involved with other people and work with other people because you're not always going to work with people you like. So you either like everyone or just. You have to get used to it. With working with Dallin and Gabby, I don't really hang out with them at school, so working with them here has been a good opportunity to get to know them, and I like working with them. I think Cellular One is going to provide students all over the reservations and other communities with the information that they need to know just to get started into any careers that they want, but they're still going to have to use the information as tools to further themselves in those careers. But I think it will help them a lot. So each one of these syllabus, every, every time they go through a certain uh, one of these exercises, there'll be a series of questions that will ask them, you know, pretty much, what did you learn? What did you, what did you gain from it? Not, a, not as a test as much, but just, as, just the kind of gut feels as to what they, they learn from it. At the end, they're going to graduate. I mean, it's going to be, for the most part, a three-month program. So at the end of this, we'll have certain incentives and certain other things for, for the kids to get involved in. The very final aspect of it is going to be them actually, if they, if they want to be a car dealer, they're going to have a car dealer um, that they're going to interview. And they're going to know everything there is about that particular thing. So at the end, the, uh, the corporate um, sponsor will actually be the one who actually judges them and says this person actually did learn about this particular um, uh, venue. 
I just want to thank you so much for the opportunity to allow us to not just utilize your studios, but your kids and your expertise and the heart that you have shown us. And Southern One wants to work with you very, very closely going forward. We want to support you in your efforts as well and in the community. And we want to have a, a strategic alliance and strategic partnership with you, and I believe we've brought to a very good start.